E.T., can you say that? Can you say E.T.? E.T. 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 Henry Thomas became a superstar at the age of 11 when he starred in one of the highest grossing movies of all time, Into the Extraterrestrial. However, the fame had come too early for him because all through his acting career, he never quite reached such a feat again. Here, you will learn all there is to know about the actor and what he is currently doing. Before we go any further, have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If you haven't, kindly touch the subscribe button and tap the bell icon to get a notification for the next time we drop one of our interesting videos. Uh, yeah. uh, I think the, the overwhelming fame uh, scared the hell out of my parents. Yeah, I'm not surprised. We begin with 10 quick facts about the actor and other details you should know about him. 10 important facts on Henry Thomas. 1. Thomas was born on September 9, 1971, and turned 52 in 2022. 2. The actor started acting at 10 and played Elliot in the 1982 science fiction movie E.T. the Extraterrestrial. 3. He went to East Central High School and obtained his degree at Blinn College. 4. Henry Thomas played Davy Osborne in Cloak and Dagger, Samuel Ludlow in Legends of the Fall, Johnny Sirocco in Gangs of New York, and John Adams in Sons of Liberty. 5. In recent years, he began participating in several horror film and TV series productions, because he collaborated with director Mike Flanagan. 6. He played Jack Torrance in Dr. Sleep, young Hugh Crane in The Haunting of Hill House, Ed Flynn in Midnight Mass, and more. 7. The actor featured as Dr. Justin Brock in FBI, Most Wanted, Charles McKnighter, Dr. Midnight, and the voice of Chuck in Stargirl. 8. Thomas was also involved in music making, and he was part of the Blue Healers band as a guitarist, and they released an album titled Twister. 9. He was married three times and had children with two of his previous wives, Hazel, Henry, and Evelyn. 10. Henry Thomas's net worth is estimated to be $1.5 million in 2022. On your shoulders. He's going to bring you in for a hug. And you'll hug this side of E.T. You'll hug him on this side, and you'll just hug for a while. I'll just have to hug you for a while. And then you'll separate, and E.T. will point right to your forehead, right between your eyes. Henry Thomas was born on September 9, 1971, in San Antonio, Texas, to Henry Jackson Thomas Sr. and Carolyn L. Nay Davis. His father worked as a hydraulic machinist, and his mom was a homemaker. Thomas went to East Central High School and got his degree at Blinn College. He started his acting career long before finishing high school, but he returned to complete his education. At the age of 10, Thomas played Harry in the 1981 drama film Raggedy Man and the following year, he featured as Elliot in E.T. the Extraterrestrial. He said phone? He said phone? The science fiction movie became an instant hit and passed Star Wars to become the highest grossing film of all time, garnering $794.9 million at the box office. After E.T., the shadow of his early success continued following him throughout his career as he struggled to replicate it. In 1984, he starred in the leading role of Andrew in the drama film Misunderstood and played Davy Osborne in the spy adventure movie Cloak and Dagger. Then, he starred as Cody in Frog Dreaming, an Australian adventure film. Thomas was featured as Raphael Danzani in the 1989 romantic drama, Film Valmont, alongside Colin Firth, Annette Bening, and Meg Tilly. In 1990, his TV career began with a few television films, such as Psycho 4, The Beginning and A Taste for Killing, where he played young Norman Bates and Carrie Sloan, respectively. He played Greg Hayes in Fire in the Sky, a 1993 sci-fi movie about alien life. In 1994, the actor was in Curse of the Starving Class as Wesley Tate and Legends of the Fall as Samuel Ludlow, and the latter also featured Brad Pitt, Anthony Hopkins, Aidan Quinn, and Julia Ormond. Between 1995 and 1996, he starred in the TV film Indictment, The McMartin Trial as Ray Bucky and in Riders of the Purple Sage as Burn Venters, alongside Ed Harris and Amy Madigan. There's something extremely creepy about children under possession of some supernatural demonic force, right? That scares a lot of people just off the bat. From 1997 to 2000, Thomas was featured in several horror movies like Fever, 1999, and The House That Screamed, 2000. 
He was also in the Moby Dick miniseries as Ishmael, which aired in 1998. In the 2002 Gangs of New York by Martin Scorsese, Thomas played Johnny Sirocco alongside the likes of Leonardo DiCaprio, Daniel Day-Lewis, and Cameron Diaz. He was Jamie in an episode of the anthology TV series Masters of Horror and Peter Jackson in the TV film Stephen King's Desperation. Throughout the 2000s, he was a regular feature in horror movies like Dead Birds, 2004, Suffering, Man's Charity, 2007, and Red Velvet, 2008. However, he also had parts in other sorts of productions. For example, the actor played Barry in the romantic comedy I'm With Lucy and Paul Weston in the 2006 crime drama The Hard Easy. Another important detail about Henry Thomas is that recently, his career has resurged thanks to his frequent collaborations with famous horror film and series director, Mike Flanagan. He has appeared in films like Ouija, Origin of Evil, Gerald's Game, The Haunting of Hill House, Doctor Sleep, The Haunting of Bly Manor, and Midnight Massachusetts. They are also working together on a 2023 horror drama series titled, The Fall of the House of Usher. The actor reprised his role as Elliot in the 2019 short film A Holiday Reunion for an Xfinity and Sky UK commercial. It shows the alien being E.T. returning to visit Thomas' character and his family on holiday. Elliot! You came back! My son! But my family! Thomas played Dr. Justin Brock in an episode of the crime drama series FBI, Most Wanted and was Charles McKnighter, Dr. Midnight, and the voice of Chuck in the DC Universe series Stargirl. The actor was also in an episode of the anthology horror comedy series Just Beyond as Crazy Charles. In 2021, he played the father of Peter in the romantic film To All the Boys, Always and Forever. More recently, Henry Thomas was announced as part of the cast for the Pet Cemetery prequel. The actor has also been involved in music making and began writing songs in the 1990s. He played guitar for a band in San Antonio named the Blue Healers. While they did not get a record label deal, they released an album titled Twister. Thomas recorded the track Truck Stop Coffee with the band, and it appeared on the soundtrack for the 1997 movie Niagara, Niagara. In 2003, he worked with songwriter and producer Nicky Sutton on the music for Honey Baby, an independent movie. Four of Thomas's original songs appeared in the movie. On the personal life front, Henry Thomas dated actress Kelly Hill for four months in 2000, and they were married for about two years before they divorced in 2002. After that, the actor entered a relationship with Marie Zilka, and they tied the knot in 2004 before welcoming a daughter named Hazel together. The couple divorced in 2007. He began dating Annalie Ferry much later, and they officially tied the knot in 2014. Together, they welcomed two children, Henry and Evelyn. Yes, Dad, it's you. We know Aww, it's you. they knew. We've already seen the preview on one of our DVDs. We know this is the movie you made when you were a kid. Are there some quick facts you feel like we missed? Please let us know in the comment section below and check out this other recent clip from Cytomex Entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.